Okay, so we're 50-50, so that doesn't really help, um, you know, for direction. And they're shorting it, so we could potentially go up, but we'd need that to cross the 50%, ideally. And we use the MyFX book data in the spreadsheet. So let's look at the spreadsheet data. Uh, see, the euro is stronger than the USD, in so much that there's a distance between the two. The retail guys are buying dollar, and they're shorting the euro. So because they're shorting the euro, it makes it a buy. Because they're uh, buying the dollar, it makes it a sell. So we want to look at this zero line, okay? And uh, that's where all the bubbles align on Sunday night. And if bubbles come over here, it's a sell. If they come over here, it's a buy. So note that where the Aussie bubble is. So Aussie USD would be much better than looking at the euro USD, simply because we are 50-50. Um, so you wouldn't want to trade there, it's like a gamble. Uh, technically, uh, it's quite bearish. Uh, let's have a look at the daily. I can show you quite a strong descending pitchfork. And uh, I'm looking to short the Euro USD at 103.92. It's gonna hit resistance uh, inevitably. So it's probably gonna be a rally and then sell the rally event roundabout there. So the logic there is at 61.8. And so that it gives us a you know a level to target in order to short and my stop loss is going to be one oh four seventy. Uh so talking about a seventy pip stop, so I need to get a decent entry, it's quite wide. I don't like having wide stops like that, but that would be my stop once it gets up there and we'll target the bottom of the pitchfork and then we'll bounce. And so we had a healthy respect here. Decent respect there, we oversold here. And so I think it's looking for a short up to 103.92. So looking at the order book, we can see uh, stops were taken out and uh, we have to examine the size before. Uh, I can't, I, I'm not really working today, I'm actually on holiday, so I don't know what the size was before. Uh, the size is now 218 and uh, it could be that they just moved their stops higher. If they do, the price will gravitate higher. And these are trapped, uh, sellers so this is going to add to support and they really shorted it at 10202 so that should be a decent support if we go below monthly pivot and these guys get paid i would exit because it's a bit of a casino you know 50 50. so monthly pivot should be a good uh, support and they'll probably come up to get that and especially if they move their stops higher and uh i'd exit if we breach 102 and we know that the bubbles are indicating a buy. If we look at the quasi DB signals, uh, we can see Euro USD on the technicals and we are looking at buy. Okay, so we only open a signal if it's strong buy or strong sell. It's likely this might go to strong buy, um, but you know we'll have to wait and see, time will tell. Um, so we wouldn't open now because it's just buy. It has to be strong buy or strong sell and um, that's that. So. Bubbles indicating buy, uh, monthly pivot support, and those trap sellers indicating buy. So I think we'll probably definitely get their stop loss cluster above, 15 pips away. But whether they'll not, they'll move their stops higher, we don't really know for sure. And if we breach 102, then these guys are going to get paid. So that would be unusual. So that should be a good support. But 50-50, so I'd probably wait for you know a little bit more movement, and they are shorting it. So that's a buy. That's technically okay, and I think we're probably going to be going up to sell at 103.92-ish.